the way in which um, society and the world is, is changing, being driven by our understanding and use of, of all things digital, is something which we in the UK have already shown we have real world leadership in. And so it's vitally important that we continue to invest in these areas of technology to make sure that we come out of this really difficult downturn stronger. This research pro programme is an investment of £36 million in three centres, in Newcastle, Nottingham and Aberdeen. So this is a way in which people who are living apart can get a feeling that they're still being thought about. And that one should vibrate? Yeah, that's right. that's right. So it works over any distance that mobile phones work over. Like. This funding gives an amazing opportunity for us at Newcastle to actually address some of the problems of people who are excluded from society. We'll be using digital technologies to do that. We work with people who are disabled, older people and also disaffected youth trying to really improve their lot in society. One of our exemplar projects was looking, we'll look at the use of uh, body mounted wireless sensor technology that will record data like uh, breathing rate, heart rate, and body temperature. And that could be worn by uh, patients with chronic conditions living in rural communities um, and would allow clinicians remotely to monitor the patient. So this particular project is looking at how digital technologies can affect you know, the average citizen and have societal impacts. So our work on transport, for example, is about both aiding the individual transport themselves efficiently around the country or even internationally, save themselves time, save themselves money, have a green footprint, low CO2. Uh, for society, it has the, the knock-on benefits of the aggregate behaviour of all those users. Our driving simulator enables us to understand what future road signage will look like um, before it's actually put out into the real world. Um, the added benefit of our driving simulator is it enables us to um, record the driving performance in quite an accurate way so we can anticipate if there could potentially be any um, issues to do with driver distraction, for example, of putting too much extra information out into the real world. Of course, as researchers, we have lots of crazy new and interesting ideas. And what we need to do is balance those with the actual needs of users and customers and also understand how industry will then make money out of this. Our lives are changing with these advances in um, GPS-type technologies and mobile technologies. So everyone who uses these types of devices will be affected. Um, it's really important that we understand how to design these technologies so that they are useful to everyone and actually so they fit in with our lives as they are now and how they will be in the future. With this type of science, it's not until you actually put it in the hands of people that you get to understand what its real potential is and what possible drawbacks there might be. And so it's about getting these groups of people in to use the technology to understand how they find it and then to use it to improve it.